Okay, we're out here at Summit Club, 4th of July, cooking wieners. We're going to cook. How many are we going to cook today, Scott? A little over 5,000. A little over 5,000. Scott is a wiener master. Been at it since what, the early 80s? 1985. 1985, and he's going to demonstrate the way to cook production wieners. And what you do is you put them in a row all the way down. The real crucial thing here is to uh, try to get them as straight. You can see the, the rows really come together. You got to load it up. Notice how we try to keep them all in line. Yep. <laughs> now, I've seen some techniques where they were just turned every which way, kind of like scrambled eggs. That doesn't seem to... Well, it's hard to, uh, to turn them so that they get a, a nice golden brown all the way around. If you notice today, we have a little bit of an incline on our grill. Yeah. So normally, we would roll them back and forth, but you just kind of take it and roll them. But today yep. is a little unique because the incline is such that we can't really roll them and they yeah. won't roll them as well. So what we're doing here is we're actually moving the back ones to the front. And, ta and taking advantage of that gravity. And taking advantage of the gravity. <laughs> Russ, how are you doing here? Front to back, back to front. front. You just keep rolling them, rolling them. Or back rolling. to front, front to back. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Keep them wieners rolling. Raw hug. Raw wiener. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Notice when they are every which direction, you can't, you can't move, you have to move each individual one. So by having them in this arrangement here, you're able to just move them all at the same time. And you, you can actually cook very, you know, a whole, a lot of them in a very short period of time. And uh, as you will see here in just a moment, we have sort of a chimney effect going on with our heat. Tell me about that sailing thing. Notice they're starting to brown up real nice. Mm -hmm. And the wind really kind of changes the conditions, cooking all the conditions. All the time. This is probably an exception because most of the time the, the grills are flat and you're actually able just to move it back and forth. Right. But this here we're having to do the uh, front to back or back to front. Young, young. Notice the, uh, the, the, the real technique here is to have a have a uh, glove on so that you can have the heat. Most of the time, if you're not wearing the glove, all the hair on your hand from here to about here will be gone. And you're always having to pull your hand back. You always have to be pulled out of the way. Uh, so once we start really cooking here, we can cook these dogs probably in about, uh, I'd say about another hour and a half. So it's a little over 5,000 dogs and a little over an hour and 45 minutes. Wow. And then invariably you got a hot spot that some spots are hotter than the other That's and right. And it has yeah. to do with the chimney effect of the wind going through where the grill is at. The, the wind's behind us right now. Was telling me. I was saying, oh, damn, I wish I had never heard about that. Dude, I, would've I, would've made, I almost went on that trip. We, we would have made Kevin a boy yeah. scout for that one. This trip in they do a whole lot. That, that's amazing. Dude. You know, we put on sale. But yeah, if you want to get it, I think it's right over at the Great Station. Okay. Well, I think we've got it. We appreciate it, Scott. You can. All right. Over and out from the 2012 July 4th event. Y'all wave. Okay.